Chevy Tech Girl. Uh, today we are going to unbox a Logitech C615. Um, I've just purchased this for any of my live shows or doing any of my YouTube videos. Um, I currently have a Microsoft webcam. I am using it on a Mac machine. Um, not very good doesn't allow me to get all the features that I want to do all of my uh, frames per second and stuff so anyways let's let's open this thing up see what we've got here uh, it was a uh, good price I can I can definitely say that the price was good price point got it on Amazon got it the same day well next day I ordered it at 6 p.m. and I had it in the morning so that's good um, probably need scissors or a knife. Let's use a knife. Hopefully I don't cut anything. Open this up. Let's see what we've got. Uh, and then as I go through this video, I'm actually going to switch from my Microsoft camera to my new Logitech camera. Um, it has good reviews online, which is the main reason that I purchased it. I mean, obviously price point was another thing, but the... Um, price and um, the reviews actually were what got me so there's the camera nice size very compact and um, obviously like anything now nothing comes with the main instructions but simple enough I'm gonna hopefully plug this thing in and we're gonna be up and uh, are running really quickly um, I, I've always liked Logitech. I've used them for many years. And, um, boy, I guess they really don't want you getting it out of this box. But anyways, have it out. Almost, finally. Okay, so size-wise, it's a nice size. Um, should be able to sit on top of my computer quite nicely uh, which is what I am looking for so that's it there very compact design obviously it's just gonna plug in USB um, so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to connect it to my computer you can just bring the you see here the flap so when you get it out of the box like that so you just bring that I'm gonna put that against the back of my monitor um, and then we're gonna get this thing up and running so uh, stick with me for a couple of seconds here I'm gonna switch cameras over and then I'll be right back and um, finish up talking about the features uh, what it does and we'll take it from there okay so I've um, plugged the camera in via the USB um, and it didn't seem to, when I went into my OBS, didn't seem to automatically work. It did for a second, it worked for a split second and then it just sort of froze. Uh, so what I've done is I've gone to Logitech website. I have found the um, camera that I'm using, so it's the C615 and I have downloaded. So if you go on here and you download, I'm using a Mac. If you go down here, there's Windows, use Mac. Now, keep in mind that this is sold as Mac compatible. Okay, so uh, one would think Mac compatible, it should, if not once plugged in, once I download the software, everything should work fine. So um, click on download now, and we are gonna go through and do a quick installation here. So you can see I've already downloaded it um, a couple of times, but that's fine. We're going to go through and once you've got that, you can just click on. It's going to do its extracting. Uh, double click on this icon here to install the software. And once the software is installed, you are going to see this webcam software come up. Um, had a couple of problems with this and this is it right here. So Logitech webcam software quit unexpectedly um, I've had this over and over again and uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure if I'm getting it because I'm using OBS and There's a conflict there between running Logitech webcam software 
and running OBS at the same time. Um, but it isn't as it seems that you can purchase this camera, plug it in and be up and running. Uh, so now we're actually going to have to go through and I'm going to, um, in the next section, we're going to sort of talk through this and see how we can resolve this problem. Okay guys, well, it wasn't as easy as I thought. Um, so to Logitech, to say that their um, camera is Mac compatible, I'm going to have to give that a big X nay. Um, I've had to jump online here and see if I can figure out why. It looks like there's a couple of files here um, that I've got in my user preferences. So if I actually go in now to try and start this Logitech software, it crashes. Um, looks like mine's still working. The, the image is clear. Um, it's taken about 20 minutes for me to try and get the Logitech camera working. Um, it's a lot clearer than the Microsoft one was. I don't seem to be getting any lag or anything. Uh, do I say that the Logitech is compatible? No, I wouldn't say so. So it's saying here that, see I'm getting this quite unexpectedly. Um, it looks like, if I look here on my OBS, it's still working. It's still doing my screen capture. Um, it did actually crash my OBS a couple of times. So I'm just going to click on OK. And it seems like if I were to move that and this P list into the trash, uh, I think I'll leave the updater there. Let's just see if I can open the software again. Looks like it opens. Um, so when online seems to be a very common issue. It should now, if I close that software, I should be able to reopen it. And it seems to work. The reason I'm not connecting to the webcam right now is because obviously I'm using OBS and it cannot use Logitech and the OBS software at the same time, which does make sense. Um, so right now I'm not able to use the Logitech software. But guys, if you do not go into your um, preferences, okay, so I'm in right now, I am in my uh, preferences under my library. Okay, so you got to find your library folder. You've got to go into preferences. And then once you get into preferences, you've got to go down and find this Logitech file. And you're going to need to delete, where is it? Logitech. I feel like I just passed it. Here it is. So you're going to have to delete this. When you install the software originally, you're going to open it up. It's going to work for the first time. The second time you get to open it, it is not going to work. It's going to keep crashing. It's going to crash over again. I did a reboot, started again, still kept crashing. So go in to this com.logishrd.l or lws plist and delete it. Also delete this com.logitech.info.plist. Delete that. You can leave the updater there. Um, you don't need to delete that. You need to delete these two files, go back in, reopen the Logitech uh, software, and it seems to work. So am I going to say it's Mac compatible? Nope. It's Windows compatible. Um, I think now that the image is a lot clearer than the Microsoft one was, um, I don't know if I'm going to have any more control over the camera than I did with the Microsoft one. Um, but I'm glad that I did this unboxing. I'm glad that I got these error messages and I'm glad that I was able to show you how to fix them. Make sure you delete these two files. Once you delete those files, reopen your Logitech webcam software if you're on the Mac and it should work. Okay, so that whole setup took me almost 45 minutes. Um, it should be as simple as plugging it in, downloading the software, installing it, and away you go. Uh, for that reason, at this point, I'm probably going to give Logitech a 3 out of 10. I uh, wasn't very impressed. The Microsoft one was actually easier to install. It didn't crash on me. Uh, OBS did not want to see the Logitech camera until I deleted these two files. Um, 
I disconnected it from an external USB and or a, a hub. I connected it directly into the computer. It still didn't work. So um, until you get rid of these two files, it's not going to work. Any questions, let me know. SavvyTechGirl at gmail.com. Get me on Twitter at SavvyTechGirl and Facebook.com forward slash SavvyTechGirl. If I can help you with anything, please let me know. And Logitech, if you could maybe sell your uh, software as well as your camera if you're saying it's Mac compatible it should be Mac compatible we shouldn't have to go through all that to get things working so thanks for watching guys we'll see you again soon